Welcome back to Varnberg Implement and here today we're with a 1760M or actually any of the 1700M series tractors with the DL series loader. We're going to show you how to install soft drive for Massey Ferguson. We've got our Agco parts, original genuine parts for Massey Ferguson. This is the kit to install soft drive on the tractor. What's in the box? What's inside the box? Well, the first thing you're going to find is the good old instructions. You'll have the instructions here. We're also going to have a bolt and a nut and a foam pad. We need to set those out. These are all items that it's going to take to install the soft drive. And then we're going to have the soft drive kit. Soft drive is an accumulator system on the hydraulics that allows it to absorb the shock load. You got an open or closed function on the solenoid system here. This is going to connect to the loader hydraulics. We'll set this out. The first thing we need to do is get our old man glasses out here. And the first instruction is to lower the loader so the implement rests on the ground or detach the loader from the loader. We're going to shut off the engine, but we need to make sure that the hydraulics, the third item, is decompressed. We need to move the joystick. So we're going to jump over there real quick show you how that's done. What they want is to make sure you don't have any pressure on the joystick. We'll jump in here to the cab. First thing we want to do is cycle it down and cycle it back and forth. That relieves all the hydraulics from that, and then we want to go left to right. You can actually put it in float position, is going to take it off too, but you want to work it in, in all different directions so you don't have any hydraulics pressure you're dealing with when you take this off. What we're going to be doing is taking this fitting off right here and installing the soft drive. The next thing is, is we'll have to decide if we want the soft drive on the outside of the loader or the inside of the loader. That is a personal preference if you want it out here or you can mount it inside. We're going to use this bolt hole that's already pre-drilled in the, uh, the tractor. I think I'm going to come out to the outside. The next step is to take our rubber pad. We'll just get one of these shop towels we get from Agco Parts. We're going to clean that surface good. This has got a rubber sticking backing to it. This is just going to protect the paint on the, to keep this from rubbing against the loader and get fingernails. And grab that. And we're going to put that pad right there on our block. Next we'll need to take our bolt and assemble this through the tractor. The next step we need to put our bolt through and then I'm going to put that up and then we'll put our nut on here. Make sure we get everything fitted here first. I'm just going to leave that loose before we connect our hydraulics here. Next we need to remove the adapter that's here. It's got a 90 degree adapter and we need to get a pan drip pan there.
that hose and then we'll need to renew that fitting. Because we're going to replace it with this T. What we're going to do is we're going to connect this to that fitting to this up here. I'm just going to kind of pre-install this so we get everything good and straight. Once we have it pre-installed, we haven't tightened everything up because we'll tighten when we get everything here. So big thing is make sure you don't get cross-threaded. It's 18 millimeters. Well, if you're not comfortable doing this, your dealer can gladly do this for you. That's what we're here for. It's what our mechanics are trained for is to take care of your professional service needs. Okay, that is getting close to getting started. Clean up all of our little drips there. And what we're going to do is we'll get all those fittings tightened. tightened. I'm going to use a 14 millimeter to hold the, the valve here, or the T. As we tighten that one that's underneath of here. That got that good and tight. That looks like an 18 on that side. Yep. Make sure that this is good and snug. Yep. Then we just got to snug our bottom bit. That looks like everything's good and tight in there. That's uh, what it takes to do the hydraulic plumbing. Clean off all of our residue so when we start it up we can check for leaks and everything. Everything looks good and dry there. Next thing is to finish tightening up our Control valve there. 
Still could use a little more there. That's what it takes to install the soft drive on a DL series loader. To open and close, you're just going to push this lever. That will be no soft drive. This will be soft drive open. That activates the accumulator. Next thing for us to do is start her up and see what, if we got any leaks or anything. We started the tractor. Looking around there, I don't see any leaks. So it looks like we're good to go. The recommended way to test for a leak is take a piece of cardboard because hydraulics can spray and they can damage your skin is to put it underneath to make sure that it doesn't get impregnated in your hand it'll hit on the piece of cardboard. Next step we're going to operate the loader to see if there's any leaks or anything there. Uh, we're going to raise it up and down just do a few little things in here make sure that everything is fine in our area. There's no leaks there. No leaks up there, so we're ready to give her a shot. If you actually notice when I drop that load, this, this cylinder actually absorbs the load instead of transferring it to the tractor. We'll show you with it off. Watch the tractor when it bounces. We've got a third function big heavy 4-in-1 bucket on here, so it's gonna, it should shake a lot here. You can see the tractor bounce a little more than the than the loader. We're going to turn it back on and I'll show you. This is the awesome part of the soft drive. Is it's going to absorb the shock in here instead of transferring it to the tractor. We've got it in the closed position. We'll jump up here in the tractor, we'll raise the implement up, look how it bounced the tractor, we'll just do it again, take it up above the hood, feel the whole tractor shake, now watch. Now we come down here, turn it to the on position, this is open, that means the accumulator is operating. We'll take our implement back up about the same way, but watch. You don't feel the shake in the tractor. Watch the cylinders. It didn't shake the tractor. That's because the accumulator is taking that load off of the tractor. Soft drive from Massey Ferguson. It's an awesome addition to these DL series loaders. Uh, especially as short coupled as a compact tractor is, especially as short coupled as a compact tractor is, it's going to help smooth that ride, especially with the heavy loads. Check it out. Get one from your Agco parts for your Massey Ferguson. It's the genuine parts. It's built for this tractor. It's one of the added features of the deluxe loaders from Massey Ferguson. For the DL-135, the DL-125, and even our larger tractors, soft drive is an available option. It helps uh, take cushion on that load as you're bouncing across those fields, keeping the load from transferring bounce into the tractor. It's going to smooth your ride, make more all-day comfort. 
Visit your Agco parts dealer. They're the official parts of Massey Ferguson and get one and put it on your tractor today. Thank you for tuning in to another Varnberg Implement product informational series video with the soft drive conversion for a tractor. Wasn't that simple and easy? Replace one fitting, put one bolt in, and you've changed the performance of the tractor and the loader. It's going to make things last longer. Taking the bounce out is going to be easier on your loader pins. It's going to be easier on the operator. Get to your Massey Ferguson dealer. Get them to get you a kit from Agco Parts and go enjoy your Massey Ferguson even more. Get more, do more. Just get you a Massey Ferguson. We just pulled it out of the shop. We'll take it up. Look at that. Soft drive. You got to get it for your tractor. It is one of the great options to add to a Massey Ferguson tractor. Soft drive accumulator system for your loader. Takes the bounce and the bumps out of your loader. You want to see what soft drive does? We've got a little bump here in the road. Look at how that absorbed the shock and then the tractor went over the dip. Now we're going to go back and try it with it off. Now the same exact height with it turned off. Now you felt it hit, bounce around on the tractor a lot more. That's what you get with soft drive. Get it for your Massey Ferguson 1700 M series tractor. Take your tractor to a whole new level of performance, operation, and comfort. If you're in West Central Missouri, come visit us at Varnberg Implement, man. We've got lots of tractors in stock. Everything from the subcompacts, the 1700Es, the 1700 Premiums, the 2700s, 2600s. We even got some big dogs in stock. You can see the 7700s, 6700S, lots of Global Series from the 4700 all the way up to the 6700 Global Series. Baylor's and more. Come visit us if you're in West Central Missouri, just outside of Kansas City. Get more, do more. Just get you a Massey Ferguson and get it at Varnberg Implement.